Hi, my name is Dr. Ken Tyndall, and I'm the CTO of Canis Automotive Labs. Today, I'm going to show you the CAN protocol attack uh, called the Janus attack. So what is the Janus attack? Well, basically, it's the creation of a, a two-faced CAN frame. Uh, we use software to, to bit bang uh, a signal onto the CAN TX pin. Uh, that's where we basically set a value of a, a GPIO pin to, uh, up and down in values. Uh, and we exploit the CAN protocol uh, synchronization rules. So every CAN controller has to obey uh, a bunch of rules on uh, when it sees a bit, when its sample point turns up, how it uh, synchronizes. Uh, and we exploit differences in sampling points to force different CAN controllers to see different bit values. And if we choose the bits uh, to be valid CAN frames, we get one CAN frame with two payloads. And that's quite useful. Uh, so a two-faced frame could be used to send a, a command out uh, to a, a targeted device, uh, but it evades detection from an intrusion detection system, which sees a, a valid uh, payload, uh, but we send the, the invalid uh, malformed payload to, to the device we're trying to attack. Or we could cause uh, two actuators uh, to diverge. So instead of uh, acting consistently, uh, they would be uh, inconsistent. So there's a whole bunch of uh, uh, attacks that uh, this could be combined with um, to be a, a general attack on the CAN bus. So let's uh, take a look at the hardware uh, we're going to use to, uh, to demonstrate uh, the Janus attack. Uh, here we have uh, a CAN Pico board. Uh, and here another Cambico board, and uh, these two are going to be the uh, two boards that see different values uh, of the Janus frame. Uh, each one of the Cambico boards, of course, has a CAN controller and a CAN transceiver. Uh, in the middle here, we have uh, a CAN hack board that's a cut down CAN Pico uh, that we use to prove that you can send Janus frames or other CAN attacks without needing a CAN controller. So there's just a CAN transceiver here. So this uh, proves that a, a pure software solution running uh, on the Pico here uh, can be used in software to generate something that looks like CAN frames or abuses the CAN protocol uh, to send data uh, on the CAN bus that uh, other real CAN controllers uh, will treat as valid. OK, let's uh, set up these, uh, these Pico boards basically to uh, listen uh, to the CAN bus and show uh, what they see. So if we bring in a little library function, and create a CAN controller, and instantiate the library. And there's a monitor function in the library that just prints out the CAN frame when it's received. Over on this one, if we do the same thing. But this time, we set the sample point to a slightly different place. So instead of 75%, which is the default uh, in uh, the CAN Pico library, uh, we'll set it to 50%. Um, and we'll instantiate the library as before. And we'll show what we want to what we see on the CAN bus. Okay, so this is the CAN hack board. So we'll bring in our CAN hack toolkit. So that creates a CAN hack toolkit instance and we'll set a CAN frame. So let's pick an ID of 123 and a very simple CAN frame, which is sending one byte F0. So we can see what that frame looks like. That's the bit pattern of the frame as it will go out uh, on the wire if it's a standard CAN frame. But we'll also set a second CAN frame. But we'll set that to B3 and we'll tell it that's a second CAN frame. And if we look at that one, it's the same uh, number of bits, uh, same number of stuff bits as the other frame. And there's a certain uh, rules on the bit pattern, which uh, I'll talk about later. But basically we have two uh, CAN frame definitions here in the, uh, in the transmit buffer. So if we go to our logic analyzer and uh, set to a falling edge on the CAN RX line, and we arm the logic analyzer, 
and send a Janus frame here. So this CAN frame has received a payload of B3 on our ID of 123. This CAN controller on the second Pico board has received a frame of F0. Uh, because it had a different sampling point, it gets to see a different version of the fake frame that we send. So the logic analyzer has seen B3 because it's set to the same sample point uh, as this one. But if we look at the bit pattern on the wire, we see this is not a regular CAN frame. It's got all funny little edges pushed in, sent in by uh, the CAN hack toolkit with the Janus frame. So it's putting in these funny little edges to cause synchronization points that are different between the different sample points of the CAN controllers. So we've sent one CAN frame on the bus with this weird bit pattern, and it's decoded as B3 in uh, one CAN Pico, and it's decoded as F0 in a different uh, CAN Pico with a different CAN controller. So we send one CAN frame with two different payloads, uh, and that's the Janus attack. Thank you for watching. Uh, for more about uh, CAN, uh, visit canislabs.com uh, and visit the uh, Canis CTO blog at kentindle.github.io.